Hello, hello. All right, let's see if I get this table right here. Kind of a different background setting. Can you please close that back door, Tucker? Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. So we have a $25 jewelry bag haul today. The chat should be popped out. Let's see here. Tucker's doing his chores. Of course. I wonder if we got anything good in here. Looks like a bunch of junk jewelry. We will see. Let's see a seed bead Navajo looking piece. Bless you. There we go. All right, so, oh, you know what I forgot? My exacto knife. Let me go grab it. Yeah, right? Bless you, bless you. That's Tucker. He's got allergies. I try to tell him to clean off his table more, dust it off. It's kind of a chore to get him to wipe down his own tables in his bedroom. <laughs> He's looking at me with an evil eye. All right, where's the start here? Doing good. I uh, decided since I'm going to be here an hour, I'd uh, put a little pillow. I got this pillow. <sighs> My son. Um, from the pound store. It's like a cute little vintage crochet pillow. Don't stab yourself with an exacto knife live on YouTube. And then I brought my heating pad because my spine is just a little sore. I got water on my shirt. Um, my spine's a little sore, obviously, from carrying these bad boys. So, all right, let's get to opening up. Thank you for asking, Diva. Casey, how are you today? What are you doing? Are you listing, thrifting? Shopping, cleaning. Oh, goodness. Again, I always tell you guys the reason why I am exactoing this open is because these Ziploc baggies, they're good quality and I like to save them. I actually have too many. I guess I just like to save stuff. I don't know. But they come in handy when you separate stuff and you need to reuse it. So, all right. And then the extra tape, as I learned last time, leave it on because it helps with extra protection so the jewelry doesn't break out and fall out. You're doing well. Thank you. Your honey hole in your area. Wait, hold on. You love getting jewelry mystery bags? Well, welcome. Um, but your honey, your honey local to your area and give him a spoon of it for, oh, buy honey local and give it to him for allergies. Must be to bees in your area to collect the pollen. Your listing. Oh my gosh, I need to do that. 
you were up at 430 listing and relisting. Oh my gosh, jealous. I listed a couple things yesterday. Okay, we're open. We're open for business. All right, quick story. So let's see, what's your seat? So the bag was $25. And the total came out to like maybe 25 Hold on. So the total was 28. So after tax it was $2 extra. So my total was like 2706 or 2710 and the manager lady asked me if I want to round up to the next dollar, which is here 28, to the Goodwill training program. And because she's so sweet and I love them, I always tell her yes. I actually tell some of the other employees no sometimes, especially if it's only like this one was, again, it was like 2706 or like 27 and 10 cents. I usually only round up if it's like 2795 or something. So, but again, because I love her and she's awesome. And I just think that getting these jewelry bags is a blessing in itself. And I want to continue to be treated well and get more. So yeah, I love when she asked to round up. And I told her that at the pound store, the guy that checked me out, yesterday which was friday my total was like four let's just say uh i spent like 15 16 dollars at the pound store i do have a little haul for you guys um my total was like 14.94 and he never asks me to round up the total and i always want them to ask me if it's like 10 cents around that so men they just i don't know i feel like the women always ask more they work a little harder on it so that's nice okay quick story not last week i did not go to get a jewelry bag as you may know i did get a boob job like a week or two ago what is it like a week ago so i didn't go as recovering i let the other women have it i could have went but I just wanted to rest and I just wanted to let the other ladies have the bags. Um, I was told that they only brought one out. So somebody was going to be disappointed last week, but she said her mom got it. So keep it in the family. Um, so right before I had surgery, I took a lot of my jewelry that I just uh, didn't really have it's not stuff that I want personally to list. Um, I, it would take more time to probably sell it. I took a bunch of it up there and I traded. I let a bunch of girls pick what they wanted. One lady brought me a couple Brighton pieces that were really cool. I, I don't know if I showed them to y'all. I think I did. Um, but the lady came today and she actually had got a bunch from me, like almost half a bag she took from me and this is all she she brought like a little bowl of some jewelry um and this is really all i picked from her i was like no nah, girl i told you i wanted some brighton so she said she had a lot of brighton so i'm like bring me the brighton i want the name brand but i did get this jade looking piece for free from her she brought this to trade back with me I don't think it's sterling silver, but I think maybe these are jade. I don't know. So let me grab this black uh, cushion thing I have. Hold on. Okay. I don't know if this is going to help. All right, um, ouch. Yeah, I don't know if the color's going to, 
And this hair. I mean, I can try to show the colors a little bit more greener than it's pulling up in the video. So I don't know if anybody's a jade expert out there, but whatever. I really, it's not sterling silver, but that's okay. I took a risk. I was like, I'll take that. And then she had this like, what is this, a $15 price or something? I don't know what that is. She had this, uh, what is it? I don't know if it's hematite or magnetite. Let's see. Yeah, it's not magnetic, so it's, I guess, hematite. It was a cute heart. Pendant, maybe? She, I mean, this is all she had that I wanted. So I was like, ah, well, I mean, I'll just take this. Which I really just had taken a bunch of junk jewelry as well. But, again, she said she was going to bring me some Brighton, and she didn't. So, well, this is a pretty piece. I don't even know what's in this bag. So I just saw the bag of hematite which is, I think, what this is all. Well, that's really cool. Hematite necklace. It's in great condition. It's not broke. It just needs to be laid flat out. Uh, so I got that necklace. I don't know what this is. This is a hematite and a cheaper blue bead bracelet. It's still really good quality, though. It's nice and... Good, good quality made. What the heck is this? This is magnetic. So this is a, what do you call the magnetite? This is a, wow, interesting. Check this out. Really good handicap piece, okay? You could probably wear this, what is it, a necklace or a bracelet? You could probably do both. Check it out. So if I wanted to, is it, okay, so it's strong enough to hang. But what's so cool about this is y'all know me. I'm loving these wrap bracelets. This seems like it would be a really cool. This is awesome. You guys in the chat are the ones that taught me and put it in my head to think about people who are disabled and handicapped. So anything magnet, put that in the title. This feels really good to wear. I like it. So I'm happy that I got this from her. And yeah, very interesting. It's not, I thought maybe it was missing a hook or a clasp or something, but I guess it literally has no hook. Interesting. Um, so here we go. We got how many more pieces? Um, I don't even know if this stuff sells, but since it's like a gemstone, I went ahead and took them. Um, so this is hematite. It's vintage, I can tell, because of the clasp. 430, yeah, go Casey. The clasp looks older and vintage, vintage-ier to me. So here's just a chunky, very long... Again, this isn't magnetite because it's not magnet. I'm going to assume it's hematite. You don't sleep well. <laughs> you need some of my Ambien. They ordered me like a lot of Ambien, but you only take one per night. I was out last night. My husband stayed up last night, um, and I didn't even hear him like at all. I was knocked out. I went to bed early. So here's a cute little uh, anchor hematite necklace, I guess really cute. It's not a vintage or vintage clasp. It's more current. And when I say that, I just can tell that like this one is old school made and this one seems like newer and cheaper a little bit. There's a big difference between these two here. You just, you just know those things eventually. So here's a match. This is like a newer one also. It's got the newer connection. Um, just a really cool hematite piece. So, yes. Oh, as you age. So, yeah, I guess that's why people get up real early in the morning, older people. And I always tell myself, like, oh, I wish I was older so I could get up and do more things. But... 
Like, I guess not if you're in pain or anything like that, you know. I hope that's not the only reason why older people get up early. <laughs> Hematite. Okay. It's a mineral form of iron oxide. Didn't Casey say maybe I was low on iron because I got sweat? Like, I have freaking B.O., you guys. I don't know what's up with me. I'm not your average girl. Like, I'm so active. Um, blah, 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 blah. Crystal habitat. Um, it's a Greek word for blood. I'm trying to think. Oh, um, sorry. Hematite, like healing is probably what I need to type up. Uh, it says here it's like a heart chakra, solar plexus. It's a good stone for those looking for stability and security in life. So you may, wow, my son's out there raking leaves. Way to go. Get to work, son. Um, wow. Oh, look, hematite is a good gem for those born under the zodiac sign of Aries, Aquarius, and Capricorn. This stone is most suitable for those with the numerology a number nine. All right, that's all we're going to talk about hematite there, education for the day. Zinc for when you stink, that is how I remember. Really? So I should wear more hematite? Is that what it said? I'll have to go back and read. <laughs> I'm like, did it not say hematite was some freaking zinc or something? Hey, Bobby, I miss you, girl. I love all your comments. You leave me all the time. You're so supportive. Um, you're just an amazing virtual YouTube slash Poshmark friend. Facebook, too, right? I'm all putting this on. Okay, let's get into the jewelry bag. Today I have a junk jewelry bucket I'm going to just use instead of a bag. So I have my diamond tester. I have my loop today. Um, and I have my little Ziploc baggies in case I have little beads that I want to separate. Um, and then I have my little Tupperwares to wear some, some, I have two. So like one is more valuable pieces. The other is maybe stuff that I just think is a high quality that I still think I can try to list on eBay, but I'm not quite sure. So it's a risky kind of thing. So I'll be putting stuff in two different Tupperwares as we go. So of course this video is going to be like a freaking hour long because this is a big ass jewelry bag. It's part of my French. Ready? I'm ready. And, oh if I didn't say I have my cheap little magnet here, I have my bottle of water. <laughs> There's the mailman. I meant to see if I sold anything on Poshmark, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. I uh, shipped everything yesterday. Is that the mailman? I don't think it is. Yep, no. Okay. My boobies are sore. Can't wait to start massaging them. Sorry. Oh. Heating pad adjustment. Sorry, you guys. I'm going to be a little slow in this video. Okay, here we go. I see Bengal freaking Haven in here. So the first thing I see is some little Valentine earrings. These are cute. Did somebody, like, hand make these or something? So I do like to keep all the earrings and pair them up. These are, like fabric like a pillow 
like literally squishy. It's so cute. I would actually wear these. I'm gonna lift up the camera here. Really cute. Mm, we have a cheaper Kendra Scott wannabe earring. We have just a bead that's going in the junk jewelry. Ooh, I can smell the perfume in this jewelry. Gross. It just literally stinks. It smells like toxins. Um, here's just a cheaper earring as well. No engravings. Cute little. Oh, look, there's our keyword there for anybody who doesn't know. Faceted, right? Because it's got all those edging. Faceted gem or whatever you want to call that. This one also, the red one is faceted, see? Faceted, faceted, because it's got all the... Woo -woo. You could make a holiday lot. Yes, that's a good idea. Because I took pictures of some turkey and Halloween and mostly like, yeah, Thanksgiving necklaces yesterday that were wood. Seemingly cheap quality. I don't know what I'm going to do. So these are not silver. What's the, oh, maybe they are like a real cheap thin silver. If not, they're like what? Can't never think of the word. Not, is it stainless steel or aluminum? Um, the blue is enamel. Some vintagey looking earrings with no markings. Cute, cute. I told my husband before the video, I said, I want to put on like this cute shirt. Like I'm going to do a YouTube video. You're not even going to see my face. He was like, yeah, it doesn't matter. I was like, yeah, I know it doesn't matter, but it's kind of nice when you do wear a pretty shirt. I said, but here I am. <laughs> um, here's a pendant. It's gold tone. I see no markings or engravings, but yet I do collect these. So I can still, I have yet to list up a huge lot. Bless you, baby. Um, so here's a pendant. We're going to put those all in a pile. That's a great idea. Did I miss it? Oh, the holiday lot. Yeah, okay. Silver plates, maybe, yeah. Do you ever look at the chain belts that some folks use as a long necklace? I have found Miriam Haskell chain. The comps are good for a lot of her vintage belts. I always look at anything for an engraving or a brand, uh, Georgia Parker. So, yes. Like, I don't care if it's a hat, a ring, a bracelet, a shirt. If I don't know the name, I'm going to look it up. So, Miriam Haskell, I'm not familiar with that brand. So, do they have a marking or does it literally say her name, Miriam, on there? Or does it have like MH? Today, we went to the, when I got my jewelry bag, I also went to the jewelry counter. I didn't buy anything because I didn't see anything. But a lady had three, a trio bracelet. And one of them had two engravings, and we were both like, yeah, I don't know who that is. And she doesn't even sell online. So here's a cheaper little uh, bracelet. It's actually a cute seed bead, you guys, but it's missing seed beads. So I'm going to chunk this in the junk jewelry lot for someone else to keep and deal with. Okay, this is a really cute vintage bracelet, but it's not, like, it's not real silver or anything. Almost, to me, looks like an ankle bracelet. I might actually keep this for myself, um, just because it's cheap and it's not worth reselling. Um, and I do like ankle bracelets, but I almost think that that's what this is. It's a glass beaded ankle bracelet. I'm going to keep that if it fits for this summer. And get these beads out of the way. Are these wood? I know there's a bunch of these 
cheaper yellow beads. We'll be chunking them in the jewelry craft bucket. Looks like it's coming off of this vintage necklace that we'll also chunk. Oh look, here's another one of those pendants. So you get two for the price of one. Cute goes with the bracelet on my arm. Which one? Come on, which one? Goes with the bracelet on my arm. I think I freaking missed something. Um, you never heard of her have to be on the lookout. Do you think the pendants do better in lots? Um <laughs> Okay, so oh, some of her belts. Have, and yeah, no, I'll have to look up her ankle bracelet. Yeah, what did I say? Did I say something else? Oh, like the blue one or this one here? Let me see. Oh yeah, it kind of does match the bluer one. Um, I was going to answer that question. Neither was I. It had a tag with her name. I just started looking at long chain belts. Huh, never heard of it. Um, so do you think pendants do better in lots? Unfortunately, I am, I have yet to test out exactly all that. I feel like Catch me here in about a year or two, and I can answer that question. But at that at this time, I have not got to experiment with it because I just started getting these jewelry bags um, like a couple of months ago. But <laughs> so far, I have sold a bunch in garage sales and the most expensive pieces online, and the rest are just sitting here hoarding until I get to them. So. Here's a very cool clip on earring, but it could be, and yeah, no, it's just plastic. It's very good quality made though in the back. It's interesting. Okay, so we'll put that with the earring lot. Okay, let's get all these bangles out of the way. Most of these, some of these are earrings. Okay, so this is cute. Like, here's a, a white set, and then that, maybe this, yeah, this mint one can go together with it. I don't think these gold go. So, let's say, like, this is a cute little set the turquoise or mint in the white, and then I got this, like, two gold ones. I always like to look for engravings, but I'm not seeing anything. Nice booby catch. Did y'all see that? I was like, boom. <laughs> oh, maybe you didn't. It was funny, though. Luckily, I didn't hurt myself, right? Like, watch out there. Oh, my gosh. Ariana Grande is stuck in my head. Just keep breathing and breathing. Okay, so. Get off here. Okay, these are really pretty. They're like um, vampire wine red color. Super huge. And then these are some cute gold tone earrings. We're going to hook these together. No markings. Just keep breathing. So I apologize if I keep repeating her. Oh my God. I wished this was the match to my earring I have here, but it's not. Okay, so this is like a gold tone. I'm actually going to keep these backs because they're nice. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll have the match to this. I lie. I'm going to put them back. 
Don't take off stuff, Heather, until you check and make sure first. Come on, bees, get out of here. I really don't like when I have all these little plastic beads, but you know, they gotta be taken care of just like the rest of them. This doesn't belong in here. Mm -hmm. I am so glad I put the heating pad behind my back because my spine is already hurting sitting here. <laughs> I can handle it though. It's just, I'm so happy I did put the heating pad back here. So it's awesome. And what's really awesome is to see that my 12 year old son is raking the leaves in the front yard. So, woohoo! Okay, this is like the cheapest piece, like one of the cheapest pieces I've ever shown you guys. Wow, is it pretty, and the color showing through is not even showing up on camera, but this thing is like so cheap. And the gold is showing the copper through. This would have to be like a garage sale piece. It's also broke. What I'm going to do is just pass this along in the junk jewelry and not even worry about it. Uh, little kids junk jewelry beaded necklace. Not, um, it's plastic. Just keep breathing. Let's see. Ooh. Oh my God. These might be my favorite piece. We're going to save those for, let me finish what I'm doing here. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. This doesn't belong in there either. Some wire. There's the flipping hustler show. Okay. My lips have been so chapped lately, you guys, from this weather change. What about y'all? Or maybe it's just because I've been under the weather. Ooh, I like that. That's a gemstone right there, it looks like. Look what it is. It's like a pendant or some sort. Love pieces like this because I'm like, ooh, what is it? Like, it drives me crazy that I don't know what it is. Like, I don't care what this is. I just want to know what gemstones are. Some look like a pearl or some sort. Well, since I showed you guys this, we're going to put this aside with the clip-on earrings. Okay, so here's some more bangles. Oh, lordy. Hello, hello. Okay, is anybody, like, already in the Christmas spirit already? Like, I'm ready to put up the tree for some reason early. And usually I'm like, no. I don't put up my Christmas tree until, like, Thanksgiving Day because that's our family tradition. Goodbye, bead. Goodbye, bead. Here's another piece that didn't belong in here. It's a nice little bolt cover. Cap, whatever you want to call it trash. Uh, we got some screws. We got some more screws. Screw you! Okay, this piece is cool, but it's broke. It's like a Navajo. We got leather, seed bead. I'm still going to try to auction it off on eBay. I'll start real low because I don't know the worth and there's no maker. But this is really cute. Looks like copper. Oh, this is just brown plastic, I think. Unless you're referring to some other piece I showed you. This is cute. Um, these are some uber cheap earrings. Not sure if it's missing the stones, but I'm gonna chunk those. Oh, ooh, what's this? Let me get all these. Okay, so here's some cheap little beaded bracelets. Um, they're so uber, like not anything I'm interested in. I'm gonna chunk them in the craft junk jewelry lot. 
uh, here's a hope, wait, hope kind of worn out bracelet or hair tie. I'm going to chunk that also in the junk jewelry. I mean, let's look at these earrings. This is like, oh my gosh, I am like so excited. These were made for me. Like these are like, this bag was for me. Are these lions? Oh my goodness. I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. But if you don't know me, I am a Leo. My birthday is in August. I'm very arrogant and proud and loud. Um, and my sign is a lion, okay, as well as the sun. But look at this. Ouch, that hurt to pull apart. Is there an engraving? These are freaking earrings, you guys. It's like here's the lion's mouth and here's the lion's ass. Isn't that not cool? And these look like, I don't know what they are. These are so stinking cute. Whoever put these in this Ziploc bag, thank you so much. These I'm keeping. Yeah, that's what Trudy, exactly. What made me so mad, like furious, not mad, furious, irritated, whatever, all the above, is that a, a boob job doctor that charges me round up to $7,000 for a boob job tells me that they can't measure me and that they recommend that I go to the first words out of her mouth were Victoria's Secret. And the, and and it, my, my, my draw like kind of drops because the last time I was there, the lady was like so freaking rude to me. I like almost wanted to go and write a review or write to the company and tell them how bad of an experience I had. And I asked the nurse and I was like, well, can I go to Penny Rich? Like Penny Rich is a small, maybe local owned lingerie store. Don't send your people to Victoria's Secret after they just spent, you know, all that money and tell me to go to Victoria's Secret. Oh, drive me in up the wall. And then if you saw my, um, my bra video from last night, if that's what you're talking about, the proper fitting, I got measured three different sizes. And the first size she told me was a 36 or a 38B. I used to be a 34B, and the other ladies measured me at a 30D, like Ds. So anyways, moving along, um, thanks for that, Trudy. So yeah, I do need to go somewhere else to get measured again. So uh, this is cool. I feel like they're, oh, the last topic on that in the end of what I'm going to actually be buying from Pink on Sunday, $10 bras. They don't go by 36, 37, 38 D. They're small, medium, freaking large. So after the whole headache of trying to get measured and getting measured wrong and venting and screaming to you guys about how upset I am, I'm getting a large bra. That's it. Like the, they're sports bras that zip up, but the ones at Victoria's Secret, the sports bras had wire and they zipped up and they went by D, C's and B's. So I was lost. I was like, what do I do? I don't know what to get. And you don't have my size in stock. So screw it. Yeah, look at all that jewelry. <laughs> okay, so here's a vintage pin. pin. The beads seem kind of cheaper quality made, but some of these kind of, this looks special to me. So even though it's broken, I feel like I still would try to auction this off and see if it would take off. You never know. Who am I to judge this pendant? I'm not a jewelry professional. Just uh, for fun over here. All right, so is this one of those shoe clips? Because this one's really nice. Check it out. 
it's like that ace bandage clip i i don't know maybe it could be anything it could go on a hat it could go on your shirt how does that work it's very cute Looney, you're so sweet you do that every time you come in here you're awesome <laughs> Y'all go subscribe Looney Circus's channel. Yeah, and Flippin' Hustler and his merch. His, his yoga pants that say Flippin' Hustler with yoga pants on this hot chick's legs are so cute. If y'all haven't seen it, go click on Flippin' Hustler's merch. Or uh, what's his other one? Printful or something? It was so cute. Except I have a mission to go and buy the Bonafide Hustlers t-shirt before I can go buy stuff from Flippin' Hustler. Um, just because I said last this year that I was going to buy a shirt or a hat from the Bonafide, the um, Strella hat maybe, or the shirt. And I haven't done it yet, so I want to. So here's a cute necklace. It looks like it's sterling silver, but there's no oh, markings, but it is nice. Oh, there, wait. Nope. Wow. Yeah, I guess, I mean, it's really deceiving, like it's a real sterling silver, but I don't think it is. Specialty shops have the people who are well versed in boob measuring. That's where I shop. Why would a doctor's office tell me to go somewhere like that? I am furious. You know what it reminds me of? And I don't, I'm not going to go into detail about this because there's men in the channel and, and just, I don't want to go into medical too much. But I had two miscarriages, and it was a couple years ago. They were very early. They weren't, you know, far along, but they were still very, very devastating to the mind. And the doctors and the nurses just treated it like it was just a daily thing. Oh, it's nothing. Just, it's nothing. No, even my husband probably could have went to a counseling because of the loss was so hurtful so just for people to be uneducated about boob measuring and breast cancer is so like big and out there and three women don't know how to measure me I don't even know how to measure myself moving along now <laughs> okay here's a really cool cheap bangle bracelet it says love joy and peace and that's what we're going to talk about from here on out <laughs> because the doc wants you to buy their fancy overpriced medical bra i'm sure well they haven't tried to sell me any of their bras however they do have a lot of creams and lotions that they're gonna try to convince me to buy for my um scar healing but I'm not going to do it because I, I'm already going to tell you that their stuff is going to be like a hundred dollars. Uh, no, can't afford it. So it's just like we pay so much money for medical and we deserve more education. Just the bearded picker alone, his doctor, his wife had told her doctor about a concerning breast cancer thing and they ignored her. So yeah, it's very, I'm like shaking. Like, I don't wanna talk about it no more. It pisses me off. Um, here's a cheaper uh, layered bubble statement necklace. There's no markings and no engravings and it's pretty faded, pretty bad. Um, I don't have time for this, I'm gonna chunk it. I'm really just going to be looking for name brand stuff. I've got too much jewelry, you guys. So this is cute. I don't know what to call this, but it's a basic. Um, this is probably going to be one of my higher end junk craft jewelry bags that I'm going to throw in here. So y'all don't judge me. Um, but this does even have some like gum or something stuck all over it right here. It's going on the junk jewelry. Here's another one of those bracelets. It says, Adventure Awaits. Bring it. I'm ready.
Yeah, it does suck, Looney. Um, it does. It, it really did take us a long time to get over the losses. Even though we already had a child already, uh, we wanted at least one more we knew. And when we tried for the second one, we lost two. And it was very devastating. So here's a really cute uh, set of earrings. They're cheap plastic, but we'll still bundle them up because I have so many. Uh, three breast cancer awareness enamel pins that I was so mad a minute ago I didn't mention these. Those sh should have, could have, should have sold maybe in October. The little girl's bracelet that's kind of cool. Aww. <laughs> Yeah, there's not much you can do, but just be patient and wait. I uh, quit smoking cigarettes, and it, it probably helped because we eventually did have a successful baby, and he's over here looking at me. Are you okay? What's wrong? You're watching a mom? Are you watching me? Oh. Oh, she has a snake. Okay. Her snake just pooped out eggs. Her snake just pooped out eggs. Okay. <laughs> okay, baby. Um, so here's an, an enamel vintage earring. Uh, kind of looks gold, but it's not. It's a very nice one. We'll put it aside to find the match. Okay, so some cheap earrings. Yeah. Um, some very cheap earrings. We're gonna chunk these. I don't even want the matches because they're tarnished and faded. Um, a cute little earring, but it's also super cheap. I don't need it. Plastic jewelry. Ew, what the heck? So the pink, uh, glass beads are cute, but this earring is so funky dirty that I don't even want to touch it. It's going in the junk jewelry. Junk jewelry. You worked for a health department and traveled in field dialysis. It's all about the dollar, and they talk so much trash about the people they are paid to help, right? Okay, Trudy, thanks. Did I miss something? Oh, okay. Penny Rich is good, but Google specialty brawl boutiques in your area. The European... Sizes are a better fit, in my opinion. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is a dirty earring. It totally reminds me of Best Friend in Your Thread. It's that big, big bam. These are some nice beads. It's kind of really dirty, and I don't want to mess with this huge fuzzball. I'm just going to chunk this unless I miraculously find the mate to it. I kind of hope I don't, but whatever. These earrings are so cute. They kind of remind me of a Mexican or Hispanic style. I don't know why. Maybe it could be another version, Italian or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, anything dialysis is, just hurts my heart here in the word dialysis. I have, you know, you feel for it. It's, that's terrible. It's like chemo almost, you know? Um, there's no markings, and I can tell they're not real gold. I'm going to pass these along. Um, that's cool. That. Trying to get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, let's get rid of this. What's this? This one's broken, or is it? Is it not? It's not. <laughs> okay, this one's missing a diamond on here. It's a really nice green, uh, probably just a glass rock and not a real gemstone. But I could be wrong because it's heavy. Um, I'm going to chunk this one because it's missing a rhinestone here. Like, literally, I don't want it. You're off to go to work on the crane game. Oh, somehow I managed to break the darn thing the first week it came home. Oh, no. 
Yes, heartbreaking. <laughs> Sorry, guys, just making sure I didn't miss any chat. Um, yeah, so my youngest right now and I'm not having any more kids he is six years old so the losses had happened I'd say about seven or eight years ago so we've definitely had time to heal from it now we're definitely over it now but we didn't get over it until we got a successful next pregnancy I feel like but even so I felt like we were emotionally scarred a little bit kind of we had arguments about me this or that so okay so there's those earrings what is this oh it's a weight watchers thing and i've had one of these before what is this it's a weight watchers congratulations thingy i have something just like this what is this I'll be honest, nothing is worse than banking. I was a bank manager for sales and customer service, and I used to get so pissed at the branch managers talking trash about our customers. Yeah, I worked in a bank, and I thought, oh, yeah, it's going to be so easy to just count money and hand it out. Hell no. That shit was hard. I left the bank before I got fired. I was like, uh-uh, this is not for me. Uh, here we have a set of Napier, Napier from like, what do you just tell me, maybe JC JCPenney's. Um, thank you to whoever hooked them together. So they're, uh, they're together. <laughs> they're together. <laughs> yeah, I get it, Heather. I have a, oh, in 2007, and I think about him daily. Oh, yes. Bye, Looney. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out and that super chat. Y'all go subscribe. Looney Circus's channel. He does a lot of arcade game stuff. Oh, here's another like vintage pin thingy. I guess you can put on your hat, your belt, your scarf, wherever you want. I wonder where they most commonly used these because I'm seeing like a hat, uh, maybe someone set on the shoes. See, it's got those like ace bandage clips again, just like this one. That's all fancy. I hope my elbow doesn't like knock over this whole bucket. That would be like terrible. Okay, so we've got some more screws. Oh, my husband just drove by. Okay, a cheap little purple plastic uh, play necklace. I usually don't pull all this stuff out like this. I usually get through it all. I've got a mess. So if anybody knows, let me know. I have one more piece like this, and I don't know what to call it. It looks like a little walnut. So here we have like a, another Navajo looking piece. Luckily this one, is it broke? Yeah, I think this one's broke as well. It's a seed bead and then some other kind of seeded. See, they look like mini walnuts. What the heck are these? Can anybody help us? What is this? Oh, can you fall? Oh, look, there's the match. That's cool. So we got the matching shoe cover thingy. <sighs> yeah, I was 
I was so devastated about the first loss because I had to that I had to have surgery to have it completely gone. And the second one, I had already been through it, so I knew what to expect. But my body was in so shock that I so much depression and of loss that I had to physically have a doctor take care of it because I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to, it's just a whole nother video to even talk about what we're talking about, you guys. Oh, look, I have this earring, it's so cute. I don't think it's sterling silver, but I think it is, hold on. I got this earring in another jewelry bag, and I do think it's sterling silver, but it's not marked. It's like a vintage piece. Look, it's like another Valentine thing. Oh, it's all pretty, and it's the hammered style. I hope I can find the other one. I wonder where I put it. Hmm. Okay, we got a cheap little ring here. We got one of those button covers. Here's a Western boots for like your, the buttons on your sweater, I believe is what I was learned off these. I have a bag of these. I still need to list. Okay, these earrings are annoying the crap out of me, so I gotta get these out of the way. These are huge. So it's funky, like craziness um they're kind of faded i don't need them junk jewelry it's like i'm just gonna resell the whole bag for 25 right there's a cute little bow ring it's actually pretty nice but you can see all the copper coming through it oh isn't it cute it's not even missing any stones but you can see all the copper through it Eek. It's not even worth selling, you guys. You can't get your money back on that online unless you did a lot. Here's a cheap little pendant, enamel, cheap pendant. Here's the match, cheap earring. Here's a cool, funky earring. I like it. Uh, cheap earring enamel glitter. It's really faded, not real gold. Super copper toned earring. We should do some research on some jewelry that's like copper tarnished and see if like, am I throwing away money here? Because anything silver that shows copper through it is just like junk to me. Unless it's got like a maker's mark or it's just like really good quality made, you know? Silly beads. These beads annoy the crap out of me. We got a belly ring. What is it called? A belly ring, right? I have never had my belly button pierced. And by golly gee, it surely does look sexy, but... If you have ever heard the stories of people who have ah, I got this ripped out, I am not interested. I think my sister had her belly button ripped out once and she had a scar. I am just not interested in dealing with the pain, even though it's beautiful. <laughs> it's really pretty. Kind of gross that I'm touching it though, but whatever. That's my first belly ring out of my jewelry haul. Junk jewelry pendant, it's broken. A vintage earring with no engravings. A Lone Star Texas watch. It's got Dallas, Austin, Houston, and San Antonio. Hong Kong. Seems like they missed a few, didn't they? Maybe those are the best. Dallas, Austin, Houston, and San Antonio. Pretty cool vintage-y looking watch. 
actually do lock those up. I have a whole bunch of those. Okay, silver toned earring, junk jewelry. Okay, so I thought this earring, oh, it's broke, was so cool. I was actually going to save it, but now I see that it's broke, so it's going in the junk jewelry. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys, I haven't seen the chat in a few minutes. I'll check it here in just a second if I'm missing anything. So luckily, we'll take this one and put it in the junk jewelry. So these are junk jewelry. Um, squirrel Mardi Gras beads. heating pad needed to be restarted sorry I will say I got pregnant with my twins after losing him and I was scared so you lost one of your twins it wasn't fun it wasn't a fun one because of that um yes no it's not Tucker don't worry about it no, it's not. I mean, it's not off yet. Um, Gina, so I know Gina's daughter is prego. And so I know she's been working a lot to help pay with bills and stuff. So it's really tough for her. Um, she quit reselling and stuff, so she's just really probably sleeping and working. Oh, you uh, had a belly button ring in your mid-30s. You had a midlife crisis move, I think. <laughs> That'd be scary, but so glad you had. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Gosh, you got a hedge. Okay, we forgive you. You're busy. Oh, so sweet. Oh. No, that's okay. I have to watch Todd Day. Todd Day. <laughs> that's a funny joke. I don't know what you're talking about, Flippin. I guess you're just going to go live with him or something. That'll be fun. Okay, let's get to going on here. Tucker's like, you've already been on an hour, Mom. Okay, Tucker, leave me alone. Here's a cute, just a gold tone uh, bow earring. No, none of the stones are missing. It does not match the ring. Calls me junk K. Yeah, I like it. It is cute. A junk earring. It's just super cheapo. It's not real. I gotta get rid of this piece right here. Freaking tangling everybody up. Oh, okay. So last announcement. Um, so we'll take our last call for today, or I'll probably try to do also one more video this week, I promise. Um, hopefully Monday or Tuesday, Monday, hopefully. Well, that's a cute piece, but there's no markings and it's, uh, faded, but we are doing a reseller, like secret Santa thing. Uh, price limit is like $10. Um, we even said like you could even do like stuff you thrifted. So it's not necessarily, uh, this is a cheaper piece. You guys, I'm going to junk jewelry it. The beads here are really pretty, but they're plastic, and it's pretty, it's kind of a little faded and scratched up. Um, 
So if anybody wants to join, let us know. We'll add you to the list. What do we have? Eight people so far, Flip and Hustler, I think. Um, this looks like a belly ring that's missing the ball on the top. We'll see if we find it. I doubt it, but I don't know. What are we going to be looking for? A hook, a little thingy like this? Um, so, yeah. If you have any questions, let me know. But I'll try to do a video Monday or something. Um, Beth 10. Okay. Uh, next to you, that Todd. She's so sweet. Look at this gemstone looking earring. Kind of funky different. That aside. Are you? Yes, eight so far. Okay. Secret Santa. Okay, yes. Ooh. Here's a, just an older tarnished unicorn. I sent the picture to uh, Flip and Hustler. I'll tell you guys who we have on the list. Right now we have uh, me, Amelia, Bobby loves to coupon, Flip and Hustler, Casey Lakeman, which is Diva, um, and then Casey Diva's daughter T, and Caroline, which is Flippin's daughter, and then Nancy Hibbard. So that's who I have on the list. If I missed you, let me know. I can't remember if Thrifty Christy or Maddie had a, signed up for it or not. Yes, I have you and T, Diva. Okay. Okay, this looks, oh wow, it's a dried flower, you guys, and it's a sterling silver stamp. So this is might be vintage. People back in the day, vintage style, typically did this dried flower enamel. I can open it. So this will go in my sterling silver pile. Pendants. We got trolley. What are these, like gummies? I don't know. You don't know? I'm going to have to take one. Is that okay? Okay. Ooh, they're like um, jelly beans. Mm -hmm. I think they're better than jelly beans, though. Oh, look, we got another. Oh, we got a couple belly button rings in here. Let me see here. I do not want my belly button ring, Heather. Do not get it in your head. I don't want it done. You don't need it done. No, thank you. I can't concentrate with all this stuff in the way, so give me a minute here, guys. <laughs> all these cheap little beads are rolling around all over the place. Oh my God, that's so cute. It's a little enamel, like little girl's clip. So stinking cute. Just keep breathing, breathing. I don't know the rest of the words, you guys. Do y'all know the rest of the words? Just keep breathing and breathing. We got a horse. Y'all see my horse charm? I don't think it's James Avery, though. Oh, this is another horse charm on here. Ooh, two more. One time I was had an office desk and the scanner boy would sit next to me all day and a Beyonce song came on. I've told this story once if y'all heard it. And one time I just bust out with this Beyonce song and I'd sing it and he turned around and he was like, dang Heather, you got a pretty good voice. I was like, really? Thanks. <laughs> I was like, what part was it? Can I do it again? <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, okay. Let's get off. It's because of this. Wait. Oh. 
I don't know what this is, but we have a 1996 horse Siskiyou Incorporated pendant here. I'll have to look all that up. It's a like etched horse. It's beautiful, like a show uh, race horse or something. Flippin' Hustler, I need some ideas for Caroline. T is very excited to give her a gift. I can tell you when she opened that jewelry that I had given her, she really liked those rubber bracelets, the colorful ones. I can't remember what other pieces was her favorite, but I can't even remember which one she said was her favorite, favorite one. It's been a while. I think I slept since then. Okay, I'm just going to have to show you guys and deal with this later. I've not seen an engraving on the actual horse. And the clasp is kind of hiding. These green beads are plastic. But here's a horse charm. So we'll move along from this. It's really cute. I love animal stuff. So that's stuff that I take time and will find a new home for. All right, <clears throat> so let's get these pieces out of the way. So we have the green pendant looking thing there. We have a cheap pink clip-on earring. We have another weird vintage plastic. I have no idea what this is, but it looks like another shoe or clip. She will also she will also be so excited to get her pink mug in her stocking. She doesn't know I got it. Oh, okay. This is a really nice strand of pearls here. They're so dirty that I'm not gonna put them on my teeth. But we do have some little diamonds right here that are probably fake, but we'll go ahead and test it. She likes girly girl things. So makeup, like, like do you let her play with little girl makeup at all or no? And if you do, what kind of makeup do you let her use? Yeah, the diamonds are not real, but the pearls are really good for Probably maybe fresh water. Let me look. Hold on. Let me show y'all. Oh my gosh, this piece is amazing. Smaller. It's like a wedding pearls, right? What I love about it is these little diamonds on the end. Check this out. How do you put this on? How do you, does it just hook on one of the, wow, this thing is like super cool. It's like literally a choker freaking vintage pearl necklace. Ooh, it feels so fancy. Ah, love this. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I was wondering like, uh, the I was going to ask you where you got your pink mug. She's a whole make. She has a whole makeup set up to play with at home. Oh, okay. Okay. So flipping just doesn't know which makeup she's almost out of yet. <laughs> what do you need more of Missy? Here's like a little basic wedding ring looking band. It almost looks like it's sterling silver, but it's probably just like a stainless steel. And it's tiny, it wouldn't be for a man. So it fits my other hand perfect. Just keep breathing, breathing. What color did you get, Casey? So they said the pink one, right? Is that what she was saying? Why do I have so many of these? Look how many I have. Look, screws. 
<laughs> what are these for? I'll have to ask my hubby. He'll know what they are right away. Oh, this is really bad to the bone. This would be cool if we had a mate for that. It's a metal, like copper statement skull thing. Reminds me of best friend in your thread. She likes that big stuff. All right, so these bracelets, kind of Rose Gonzalez. Make sure you look up these bracelets because, again, this leather one can sell $75 to $100, if not more, when they're brand new. Chan Lu, um, this one has a name, and it's kind of copper fading, so it's not as high quality, but I've never heard of the name, so I'll look it up. But it seems like it's really good quality made so it's my eyeball okay what is this is this a chungle or just a bracelet it's a rubber mm, 90s looking thingy i don't think this would work for my hair but i think some of these are hair ties nowadays i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know we have a vintage uh, yellow clip. It's totally vintage looking, I, I think. Maybe, maybe not. I could be lying. Oh, look, there's the belly ring. One. Another one, I mean. Oh, look, here's a James Avery bracelet. Holy freaking moly. Yay. This is our winner. Ding, ding, ding. We have James Avery. Oh my gosh. The charm alone can probably possibly be just a guess. Low ballpark, 15 to even all the way up to $50 just for one single charm that has that logo right there. The candlestick looking thing. And then it comes with the bracelet. And the bracelet has James Avery. Yay! This is going to pay for a whole, the whole entire bag, you guys. This makes me so happy. Woohoo! Thank you, Goodwill. Allergic to cephalosporins. What the heck is that? Cephalosporins? Cephalosporins. Cephalosporins. What is that? Can anybody help us? Anybody want to Google it? C E P H what? C E P H A L O S P O R I N? What is that? Oh, you got it on Alma's. Yeah. I had fun. I guess I missed it. I went to sleep early. I don't even know. Allergic to cephalosporins. I wonder what that is. I'm going to set it aside because I love learning new things. Okay. Oh, come back here. Okay, that's not basic. Uh, basic gold and tone pin. Very weird. Nothing on it. Seems like it's missing something. So I think these are pretty cool. I've never owned any, and I don't think I'd necessarily wear it, but it's a three-tier dangle earring with crosses really cool it's definitely a showstopper in my opinion showstopper <clears throat> okay i love this piece it's a seed bead i believe it's sterling silverish bb Banana, it's not BR for Banana Republic, so it's the maker BB. 
can see. Oh, we'll have to do some research. There's the logo. B and a B for boy. This cool vintagey seed bead. Uh, more than likely, maybe a gemstone drop. Hmm. Interesting. That's cool. Very cool. We all bought stuff from Todd's merch. Oh, that's so sweet, Todd. And you got your live streaming taken away. That is so awesome. What a cool blessing, dude, from YouTube. YouTube is just absolutely amazing, you guys. I love YouTube. Here's an owl earring. I'm going to chunk it in the junk jewelry. Oh, a tiny little bow earring. That is just the cutest. We'll put this back on there. I found. Oh, so we have, uh, if I didn't show you, these two belly button rings. I guess I can lot up all these belly button rings on Poshmark or maybe eBay even. Oh, this is cute. What is that? A bracelet? It's a best friend's bracelet. Oh, look, we have the friends. Best friends. <laughs> You're silly, Tucker. Ooh, ooh, I'm a, what's this little birdie? Okay, apparently we have like a chunk of bubble gum stuck in here. Okay, let's, we gotta look at this here. So there's a bunch of beautiful little charms, but they're all, ooh, what's the maker? Ooh, number five. No, that's just a cheap, cheap stuff. Okay, I don't know. The charms are really cute in here, but I am not going to clean off no bubble gum. So we're going to chunk this whole set here. Um, the best part about this little, I guess, oh, no, yeah. Well, that's all going in there. These are cute little charms. Look, there's a key. Um, the favorite one is this little envelope that I like. So cute. I don't need them though. It's going in the junk jewelry. Uh, junk jewelry earring. Mind state. <laughs> so funny. Um, here is uh, icing. It's a really cheaper brand, like Claire's in the mall necklace. Turn it down, please. Um, it's a three one. It's not broke, but I'm totally going to put it in the junk jewelry. All right. Ooh. Okay. So I was watching some chicks that got their boob jobs done and they're like sisters and they're so like, oh my God, like they talk like this. Well, they have their YouTube channel. Both of them, they have a YouTube channel and they started their own like jewelry line, which is just like cheap jewelry like this. But since they both got boob jobs, of course they uh, got the layered necklaces to wear they hang all the way down up in that cleavage line, so this will be cute. It's a copper one, though. Oh, my God. We're supposed to go out tonight with some friends, and I'm kind of scared. Like, I love to go out, but I never go out, and so, like, I'm kind of scared. Like, I just want to stay home. <laughs> 
Uh, this is actually missing a stone diamond, so it's now junk jewelry. I'm not into replacing um, generic jewelry, costume jewelry. Oh, creates, uh, creates one. I wish I could create one. I don't even know what to do. And it bothers me. So you guys like this is, let's see, hold on before I speak too soon. This is not sterling silver, but again, oh my gosh, this piece, I'm in love with it. It's one of those vintage little rhinestone, like cubic zirconians. Um, but they're purple, like amethyst. It is the most simplest, like something like Caroline, like a little girl should wear. Oh my gosh. Like I love the simplicity and uh, what do you call it? Like elegance, it's modest, I don't know. <laughs> what are the words like i don't even know if it's pulling up oh, i can't bend over because of my boobs it's like move your screen closer Heather. um i just love this and the value on it is like nothing but it's just some things you know are just absolutely stunning I love it. Dainty? See, I don't use that word. Maybe because I don't really know how to use it. Because dainty to, to me sounds like kind of ugly. Like dainty. What does that even mean, flipping hustler? Dainty. I love the word. It's so cute. Hold on. Unless you're just going to type it in the chat before me if I can unlock my password here. I love that word, flipping dainty. Small and pretty. <laughs> or it can mean fastidious or difficult to please. See, that's why I was like, or not pretty. Because typically concerning food, fastidious or difficult to please. Tiny, delicate. Oh, I love it. See, you learn something new every day. Something good to eat, a delicacy. Oh, you should keep putting that word in the chat for me, flipping, so I don't forget it. Dainty. I love it. It's like, oh my gosh, one of my favorite pieces. I don't even know where, oh, I put it right here. Okay, moving along now. I'm a sucker for many things anyways. So I think that's probably why, because it's tiny. I, I really do love tiny things like this. So um, if there's one thing that I do want, and I lost mine, I think, um, is tiny, like real, the tiniest earrings that are, they gotta be like real sterling or real gold with like either like a little diamond in there or just anything tiny. I'm obsessed with it, so yeah. So why is this earring magnetic? It's so weird. It's got a tiny magnetic back here. It's so cool. Looks like a, a battery, but it's not. It's a magnet. It's weird. It's cool. So it was sticking to this cheap enamel earring. Okay, what is this necklace? Because it looks like it's real silver. Let's look. Oh yeah, this is totally real silver, even though I'm not seeing engravings. Yeah, there it is right there. Oh, loopy! You know one or two words. <laughs> Dainty. Dainty. Oh, shoot. I got it. <clears throat> That's so dainty. 
kind of like stanky but dainty. <laughs> okay, here's a really cheap earring, junk jewelry. Oh, come on, Heather. Finish what the heck you were doing with your loop over here. I mean, I don't know why I'm busting this out because it's probably just going to say 925. And yep, that's it. 925. So yeah, it's sterling silver chain. It's a longer, oh, a longer vintage kind of chain. All right, we have the matching pin. Why do we have two of these? Why do we have two of like everything? We got two. Two of these pins. They're not, these aren't like cuff links, right? Are these, can these be considered cuff links? I don't get it. You can tell that Flippin' Hustler has girls. Okay, you meaning, meaning daughters, right? I gotcha. So here's some earrings that are uh, silver tone and scratched up. Junk jewelry. Junk jewelry little piece here. Uh, copper toned junk jewelry earring. Here are these. She clipped them together. And they don't have an engraving or anything. Oh, these are interesting. Since these are clip ons, they're harder to sell. I'm not seeing any engravings. I'm gonna guess that a lot of the gold rubbed off. They're half gold and half silver. I'm gonna chunk these. Kinda, sometimes I don't know, but whatever, just move along, you guys. Okay, so here's a really long uh, Claire's chain, but there's no end hook. I really don't need it, it's junk jewelry. Chunk jewelry earring. It just like got a little dark, like the cloud came over or something. A cloud. Here's a copper silver toned earring. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna turn on one. Oh, one light. It's like I almost fell out of my damn chair. I don't think you guys can tell the difference, but I can. <sighs> Like then the movies? No. What does it even mean if you buy gold? I don't even know. Shit, if I could buy some gold and tell, that'd be awesome. Here's a, an enamel Christmas present earring. It's a clip-on. I haven't seen the mate yet, so. And this is just fake as ever. It's just a studded rhinestone earring. We're gonna chunk it as well as this pinwheel or whatever kind of wheel this is, it's silver toned. And this is adorable, but it's just a little gold tone earring. I've come across these a couple times, so I'm no longer interested in them. I usually can never find the backs, but I mean the match. But again, keep in mind, you can get like a six pack of earrings at Walmart for like five bucks. So you really gotta, I have to tell myself that this is just junk. Like, give it to somebody else who cares about it. Because I don't. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Here we have a Snoopy piece, and it is stamped with a cheaper 925 you can kind of tell sometimes, even though it's stamped 925, if it's a cheaper 925. Um, so there's Snoopy and whatever the little guy is next to him. What's the, the little thingy? Who's that little guy? I don't know. But this little charm here might be worth a little bit of money. Not too much, but we'll look it up. We'll 
what happens if you do? I don't know, but the movies, that's what they do. <laughs> well, maybe we just need to Google YouTube and see if YouTube has a video that says to bite on gold and see if someone has ever done that. <laughs> I guarantee you there's a video out there about it. Right? <coughs> Woodstock? Hmm. Yeah, this is a really cute necklace. It's got just three little charms, but it's silver tone. It's like something from Walmart, probably. Super cute, but not a resale value for me, chunking it. Okay, so we, I found another belly button ring, but this one is, I mean, it's got like a little gemstone in the middle, but it is so sick and dirty, I'm not even going to waste my time on it. Sick and dirty. That's a word, Heather. All right, Bangle, you're in the way. Get out of the way. Okay, we have a cluster. Can anybody think of the word that I wanted to say after cluster? Um, we have a cluster of necklaces here. The bird sitting. Oh, his name is Woodstock? Is it really? I think you're right, right? It sounds familiar. Well, this is weird. Totally a little girl necklace because it's just a, ro a rope, yellow neon rope with some. It's kind of cute. Tangle? Luck? No. An F bomb word. I think I see a sterling silver necklace in here. Hold on. Oh, it's broke though, isn't it? That's okay, because I have a little Ziploc baggie full of broken sterling silver necklaces. Pretty sure that's sterling. I don't know. Okay, what is this? This is another cheaper necklace. It is cute. It's a pearl necklace, but it's uber cheap. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got you flipping. I got that. I got that. <laughs> I'm like, nope, not that one. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I like this piece because I think it's vintage. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I don't like it as much as I thought. Thank you, Rowan. Okay, so this looks like a duplicate of the silver chain that we showed earlier. So we have two of these. I'll have to test these for silver because they do not have markings and... They look silver, but I really can't tell. My fingers are dirty today. <sighs> Jeez Louise. Casey, it's like I get the letter initial K more than anything else. Didn't I have the letter case, uh, James Avery charm one time? I'm pretty sure I did. I sold it on eBay, but here's a cheaper Claire's. Looks brand new. It's a K charmed necklace. I can't get it all. And here we go. Actually, I can. Okay, so a Claire's K necklace. Okay, this is cool because it's a layer necklace, but it's so tangled. And it's actually, 
I'm a little worn out. I don't need it. I'm just going to chunk it. But this piece I really like. This one I think is 925. Yep, I can see it right away. It's a vintage piece. Check it out. It's dainty. So dainty. I love it. And then what's really cool is these glass faceted beads are movable. Oh, I love this piece. How long does it hang? Let's look. Pretty nice. Very simple, right? I had all these necklaces on. I don't even like it. I don't even use this thing. Okay. Just unhook them and they come right off. So here's a chain necklace, but I can clearly tell that it is silver tone. Um, more of like a man necklace, but I'm going to chunk it in junk jewelry. And this piece is just a costume cheap necklace. It's uber long, but it seems like it's brand new. And it is not missing any rhinestones, so we might just keep this one. I feel like I have one of these already. I don't know. Okay, geez, I can't believe we're not even done, you guys. Um, this one is a letter W. It feels like a nice quality cotton strand necklace with a letter W. Well, that's kind of funky. I can see what would Jesus do, but is the W for their last name or something? No clue. All right, what else do we got in here? Oh my gosh. Okay, we got a cheap earring that we already chunked earlier. Beautiful vintage little rose earring. It's metal. We got a couple screws. Put those over there. We got that matching wheel earring, a cheap earring here. Ooh, I'm not, ooh, what are you? Yeah, it looks kind of sterling, but I'm gonna just chunk it. I didn't see any markings. It's okay, it's just a little earring. Uh, silver toned earring, copper showing through. Now, what is this? This is a fridge magnet. I actually kind of need stuff like this for the kids posting stuff. And this sucker is strong. It's really good quality made. Okay. Th this one, rondelles. So the big ones or the tiny ones? Because I have trouble trying to identify. I need to learn what these are called and the tiny ones. The last clear beads are rondelles. They might be Swarovski or whatever. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. So these don't have an engraving, but there's they're pink. Baby pink. Matching earrings. Okay, what in the world is this big ass piece here that's taking off half the bag? Oh my gosh, I almost ripped this necklace and I'm so glad I didn't because it is like weird. Wait, Paris. Oh man. Come on. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Cheap little earring. Okay, let's finish this piece. What is this? I don't really think I need this piece. This is like a huge, gaudy 
Here we go. Layered necklace. Kind of gaudy. Uh, a broken bracelet layer. It's really cute though. Here's the match to this red earring. Wait, that's not the match. It just looked like it. Dang it. I already have one of these. A shell. Gold layered shell or whatever. Okay, we got some tarnished cheaper earrings. Oh, this is cool. Oh, it's broken. Ooh, but it's got this vintage lady on it, so we'll look her up, maybe. All right, my back is hurting. Let's see here. We've got a plastic bracelet. What is this? Is this scriptures? Thou shalt, yeah, okay, okay. The Ten Commandments again. And what is this one? This one's like, got some kind of weird hook, but no end. Different. See an engraving. Uh, HS, Heather Smith, 925, Taiwan. There's a gemstone earring stamped. A little cupcake earring. It's a bookmark. <gasps> so smart thank you Casey I had no idea you know who will like this maybe my mom might like this for her Bible I bet my mom will think this is really cool I wonder if it'd be cute like it almost looks brand new like I could almost give it to her like a Christmas gift just a small little Christmas gift um, an adorable dainty little cross earring What the heck? These are super cute. Uh, some plastic earrings that are from like super vintage. These are so cool. And they're so cool because they're clear. That's another thing. Like I have a fetish about like clear stuff, like glitter and stuff. So cute. I love these. Totally could rock those. Okay, this thing, I'm all this thing though. Look at this woman. There's no markings. She got cowboy boots on, doesn't she? It's like a stick figure. Hang hang woman. Hang man. Look at her hand. Oh my god. Hello? She has a belt on with a flower. Oh my gosh, this thing. Hmm. You love the lady. She's so cute. She's got like a leather skirt too. It looks like a clip thingy. I didn't see where Todd said that. I don't know. Todd who said that. I don't know what you're saying. <clears throat> Here's the Christmas box clip-on earrings. These don't say Avon or anything on them like the other ones that I find lately. 
Oh, okay. So the little lady had come off of this Paris. Wait. Um, RS. It's actually, is that not, is that a shell, abalone shell maybe? It says Paris. Yeah, I got the bookmark part, but the thing that you said about Todd who said that. Oh, yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, we're going to keep the lady with, yep, because the hooks are identical too. So this definitely goes together. This is exciting. I can't wait to look up this maker. Oh, wow. It just totally came untangled, too. It is an uber long necklace, you guys. You're sitting here cleaning and fluffing a polar bear. <laughs> so cute. I can't get over this lady. What is it? She's holding a... Uh, a star thingy in one hand, but then the other, there's, she's not holding anything. So it's kind of cool. It's different. So we got the clip-on match earring to the blue one. They're actually really good quality, but they don't have an engraving either. Yo no sé, I don't know. Oh. It looks like they might be broken, like they had something hanging. I'm going to chunk those. They don't have a maker. They really do look like they were broke. Okay, so silver tone earring. These earrings are like uber cheap. However, they're super cute. They're just too cheap. I don't need them. Don't worry. <clears throat> Just keep Okay. This one's faded. It's just like a cheaper Walmart earring. I'm going to chunk it. These little ones, be careful, because some of these are sterling silver. I'm going to chunk those. Okay, I showed y'all this earring earlier. It was broke, so we're going to chunk this one. Um, this is a cute mint one, but it's really scratched up, like it's vintage looking. I'm just going to chunk it. I don't need it. So I did have a pink vintage clip-on earring here. Um, I think I have the back to it, and we chunked it, but I'm just going to chunk these in the junk jewelry. No, it's not a ballerina because I think she's she's wearing heels, like boots. So I am seeing a flaw on this, and the only flaw is that she's missing a little rhinestone from the boot sock. Only problem with it. No, I was saying I didn't know what she was saying that says that someone is on some good stuff. That was Todd who said that. Casey's comment above I didn't see where that exchanging was going on. Like, I'm not on any medication. My heating pad. Probably should take some Tylenol, right? Um, so just a... Just a cheaper costume earring. It's faded. I don't need it. Oh, it's so cute and dainty. It's like my new favorite word, flipping dainty. Oh, why are these stuck? Gosh. Okay, these are the cutest dainty little red earrings. Again, it reminds me of something like a little girl could wear or just something super just tiny and simple. No engravings, though. I love these little pieces. 
We got a little earring. Don't need it. God, oh, this video is taking so long. Oh, look at the little bird. I might see if we can find this match. Just a little, like, what is it? I can't tell if that's a dove or a... It's not a dove. It's a different kind of bird, isn't it? Something else. The heart or a star necklace or earring. All these be Okay, what is this thing? Looks like a. What the heck is this? I don't even know how to use this. I'm confused. Okay, so here we have this long boxy chain thing. Chain thing. Chang -lang -lang. Okay, so one end looks like a belt or a snake. It reminds me of a snake tail. Okay. Freaking weird. So there's one end. And the other end, it looks like a belt hook. But there's nowhere to hook on to it. So here's the hook. But they don't go together. And you can't even fit it in between the gaps. What is this? Does it fit around my waist? Oh yeah, that's totally a belt. That's a freaking belt. It's a big waisted belt because I got big hips. I have no idea what this is. Let me know in the comments if you know how that works, anybody. Got a little girl's bracelet. Um, ooh, I like that. What is that? Just keep friends and friends. Sorry, I told you at the beginning of the video, I cannot get it out of my head. I love this earring. It's like a, almost like a seed bead, but cylinder seed beads maybe. I don't know what this is. It looks like an earring. Kind of weird though. I got to get rid of this cheap necklace. Kind of looks like tiger's eye from afar, but it's not. Uh, does anybody know this brand? Because it looks like it's a logo. Anybody watching out there? What is that? There's no engravings. It's a pin, brooch pin. Like a flower, double flower. Key. Key flower. It's weird. I have no idea what that is. Okay, these are really, really cool. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to keep one of these maybe, or both of these. So I really do like the leather or fabric. I don't like this one. Hematite. That one was hematite, sorry. These little adjustable bracelets. So here's one with a heart. And then here's one with trio of triangles. I'm going to be pimping these. I'm all pimping them. I don't need that. It's kind of cute. Maybe. I don't know. All right. So what the heck is this? We have a costume rhinestone earring. It's just costume. Okay, so this is a nice, kind of good quality made earring, big and bulky. 
Oh, these pearls are really nice. They're probably fresh water. They're really heavy. Some kind of pearl. Hmm. It's like a vintage bracelet. I think I have too much lighting. It's like washing out, isn't it? <clears throat> Okay, so if I didn't already throw it in here. Here's the match to that costume earring. I'm just going to chunk it. Um, ooh. Here's Graziano. Graziano. CN. It's an engraved designer, maybe, brand. I'll look it up later. What's this? Oh, it's a 2007 Build-A-Bear Workshop uh, enamel pin. I like it because it's pink. Okay, cheap earring. Another one of these weird looking pins. We got a ladybug pin. Oh, how cute. It reminds me of someone who prefers to be called ladybug. I love that. I might give that to her. Okay, junk. So look at this. Owl eyes. So cute. Okay, a bunch of little funky earrings. Spiky. We have a reindeer pin. Ooh, here's a vintage earring with no engraving. It's an enamel heart. Bunch of just junk here, you guys. Um, we got a cross charm. Bunch of little pieces here and junk jewelry. Um, here's a feather pendant. It is gold tone and it's wearing out. I don't need it, so craft lot it goes. A cute enamel heart earring. Love it. Don't need it. Here's a screw again. Some earring bags. Here we have a, another cross charm pendant. Um, a nicer earring, but it seems pretty cheap. I haven't seen the mate. So this bracelet, what is this bracelet? It's not missing any rhinestones. Seems a little better quality made, um, but there's no engravings. You gonna take a potty break? Mm-hmm. Some vintage earrings that are really funky on the back. Look at that. See you later, Flippin. All right. Earrings that are gold tone, copper showing through. All right, guys. I'm going to pour out this bag a little here. Oh, look. I have the matching earrings on those. Ready? Let's see what we got in the best part of the bag. There are a million tiny beads in here, but I'm going to go fast. We have another allergic to cephalosporins. Cephalophor who? Well, baby. Just tell me in just a minute, okay? Did you wash your hands? Yes. Okay. Some statement earrings. Okay, what is in here? <laughs> we have another wedding ring, right? Woo! A cheap wedding ring. Have a good day, Flippin. Well, this is a nice clip-on earring with a bolt on the back of it. <laughs> um, I don't see any engravings. It kind of looks sterling silver with either onyx or black obsidian, maybe, stone. 
Well, this is a sterling silver bracelet, vintage. Um, and it has some kind of stock number. It's more than likely like a Mexico silver. That's a nice piece. <clears throat> Look, here's another one of those green little gemstone pieces that I found. Oh my gosh, this earring is so heavy. No, thank you. It's kind of pretty. It's not missing any gemstones. We have the letter D. Is that a D? Yeah, that's a D. Hello, D. Pendant. It's not sterling silver, though. Oh my gosh, it's a seed bead dragonfly pin that broke, but it is beautiful. I love that piece. Okay, this is junk jewelry. You can order these on eBay for like less than 99 cents shipping and all. If you need good stocking stuffers for your kids or people or anything go to ebay and buy cheap jewelry if you like this kind of stuff um, these are adorable wrap bracelets you can literally get ones with any kind of logo you want commonly the affinity uh owls hearts crosses they're cheap bracelets but they're cute layer ones um, and they're adjustable, so you can get those on eBay all day long. Um, here's a cute vintage leather necklace enamel. That's vintage. Get all these necklaces out of the way, dang it. <clears throat> um, broken necklace, it's pink. Some of it's broken. There's a gold chain stamped 925 Italy. <clears throat> oh, this one's cool. Just a costume. If you're wearing like a yellow dress or something, this would be cute. Very goth looking, yes. The, um, Kind of, you mean like, well, maybe that, maybe. Whoop! This is a really cool piece. I like it. Oh, I like the little drop too. Faceted drop. Um, this is interesting. Okay, so the pearl has got all this plastic chipping off of it, but I'm loving this iridescent, like, rainbow one in the middle. Isn't that cute? Like a vintage. Do we have a match to this or not? There's a clip on earring match that we have. Yes, black. Oh, okay, cool. Gotcha. Oh, there's another one of those bracelets I told you all about. And there's the infinity symbol. Oh, look, here's another one, a blue one. That one's kind of broke, but easily fixable. Okay, do we not need this earring? No. Ooh, I see sterling silver right there, too. Okay, I'm going to chunk this, even though I love this piece. It almost looks like it's real gold in the back, but I don't think it is. Okay. Um, let's see, get all this out of the way. I love these fabric uh, necklaces. You can add anything to those leather fabric chains like this one here. This reminds me of the 90s a lot, like the peace sign necklaces. Like whatever this necklace is, I think it's super cool. I have no idea what it is, but there's the center. It's got some like glitter speckles in there. It's kind of like enamel. Okay. So this looks like a vintage piece. 
clearly. It's a screw glass. Okay, so it's a glass, like probably hand-blown glass pendant. But then, I don't know if this is either black obsidian kind of stone or if it's an onyx. This feels, yeah, it's definitely, yeah. It's hard to tell. I don't know how to tell the difference yet. Or it could be a different one. I think there's like three or four black stones. But these are clearly glass. So this is cool. <clears throat> we got a scissors hair clip thingy. I think that's for your hair. It's kind of loose. It needs to be adjusted. It's cute. We are almost done, except for all this pile here. We got to just kind of go through real quick. Oh, it looks like we don't have the match to this, which I'm happy about because it's heavy. People shouldn't even be wearing this. Rip your ear. Uh, here's a ring that we have the matching flower to this, but it's just a gold tone ring, so it's broken. We don't need it. Okay, I'm seeing some silver in here, okay? Um, <clears throat> or first piece that I saw. Uh, this one's a Fossil brand. So like Dillard's sells this brand, so that's cute. It's a multi-stone, it's that abalone, right? Multi-glass stoned bracelet. <clears throat> um, where did I see? Let me get this out of the way because it's so big. Oh, look, this is like that Western thing, right? It goes around like over your neck or your hat or something. It's kind of cheap. Okay, but that pendant is glass. That's nice. I have to look these up. Does anybody know what this is? Tie bar scissors? Oh, like for your, even for your, your, um, my gosh, your tie, necktie thing. Multiple uses, right? What is this called? Is it for your hat or you wear it around your neck? I don't know. <clears throat> okay, and then this is cool. <clears throat> Here's a layer, um, what is this, uh, cotton necklace with all these leaves. That's what they are, leaves. Very cute. It even makes a lot of noise. Another silver piece that I saw. Oh, cool. Look, this is stamped 925, and it has a maker underneath of it, but I don't know who it is. That's cool. Is the other one in here? Here it is. That one. That. Oh, let me show you the engraving. It's a bolo tie. Cowboys are rare around the neck. Yes, that's what it is. Thank you, Casey. Thank you, Casey. Okay, so we did find the match to this gemstone earring that is uh, stamped HS, and then, oh, I see the letter, oh, 925 maybe, and then Thailand. That's cool. Did I put that one in the box? Oh my gosh, it's like I pushed jewelry over here that wasn't supposed to go. We have uh, cute little girls owl necklace and an earring, junk jewelry. Let's see, okay, that's all I pushed over there. That's weird, this little paw print says, bless you, says, you're welcome, says Thailand, but not 925 on it. I've never seen that before, paw print. We got an owl. Um, we have a 
pin and it's a um, dollar dollar what is this? yeah sand dollar there you go <laughs> you're welcome sand dollar pin my sister was luckily enough lucky enough to find one of these walking the beach when we were a kid but i've never yet to find one on my own so i look forward to finding my first sand dollar one day on the beach Let's see, these little earrings look silver, but I don't think they are. I'm just going to chunk them. Kind of heavy. All right, we got the engraving or the letter A. Really cute pendant. It's not missing any charms, but junk jewelry it goes because I don't need it. Okay, found the other Paul Thailand. Those are super cute. We have a gold ring. Big one, too. There was something else in here stamped. Where is it? Oh, we have another breast cancer awareness pin. This one's more of a hot pink. I like that color much more where's that thing i saw oh here's some more earrings oh yeah these are stamped these are stamped oh the hs again or ks italy italy yeah there's silver so here's some silver earrings we'll keep those where is that other silver piece I saw in here? If I just get rid of it, right? Um, here's a I love. Whoa! Your iTunes library does not contain any songs with artwork. What the heck? Can y'all still see me? Oh, wow, my screen just completely went out. That was weird. Maybe I hit a button. Sorry. Uh, I love gymnastics. Ooh, look at this gemstone. It's got like pink and colors in it. Could be dyed. I don't know. Super pretty. Oh, here's that. Um, so that, what is this, an owl? It's a abalone shell. Looks like it's the Mexico sterling silver stamped again, maybe. Yeah. Sterling silver stamped in the back. And this is the pin, brooch pin. Okay. I do not keep those in the lot. I, anything stamped, I sell individually, so... Okay, here's a glass beaded necklace. Really good quality made. We'll look at that later. A gold chain here. It is a wannabe gold. It's not real. Looks like it, but it's not. Ooh. Okay, so we have that match to this one of the red earrings. It's not Kendra Scott at all. She even got some fading. We got another wedding ring here thingy. It's probably not even a, a ring. It's probably like a, uh, it's probably like, I don't know, something else. Here's a paw print with rhinestones all in it. Uh, none of them are missing. It'd be cute on a necklace. I don't need it. Um, a heart earring. Yeah, we don't have the match to that junk jewelry. We have owl earrings. We have a uh, rose. Oh man, rose. Hey, rose earrings. Um, oh my gosh, this is the cutest little charm. Wow. 
This is like the most adorable charm, but I can't see any markings that it's sterling. We might have to test it later. We're gonna set that one aside. Okay, so we have little earrings, not worth anything. Let me turn off this light. It got way too bright. The sun came out tomorrow. Or just now, whatever. Almost done. Okay, so we never found the earring to this. I'm gonna chunk it. We have an American flag earring. I don't have the match. I'm gonna chunk it. An extension to a watch. Since I have so many watches, I'm actually gonna keep that. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. Earring, oh my God, I can't even think of the state, but whatever. It's a really nice quality earring. Junk jewelry, because I don't have the match. Um, here's a 925 pendant with maybe the letter CW stamped. It's real sterling, so that's a nice pendant. Zebra earring, we don't need it. Oh, look at this. Check this out. Ooh, I wished I knew what stone was in there. It looks like moonstone. Hold on. This is totally sterling silver, but it's not marked. So it's an earring, a vintage earring with a yellow back. Let's take off the back and see if the stamp is behind there. Nope. Totally sterling silver. That's cool. Like just this bottom piece alone could be remade into a pendant for a necklace. So you could take off the earring here and this is amazing. Ice cream earrings. Um, let me just show you a bunch of. Ooh, we'll look at that one. I mean, we have a ton of little girl earrings, junk jewelry, junk. Those are broke. Um, let's see. Oh, that one's nice. Just keep breathing and breathing. Okay, so this is a sterling silver turquoise little one. Cute. Here's another gemstone rock. It looks like it's dyed. I don't need that one. Maybe it's not dyed, I don't know, but I'm gonna chunk it. It's been a while since I had a jewelry bag with so many little pieces, you guys. It's kind of fun, sort of, except that I'm really, really tired of doing this. There's some kind of cute little gold piece. I don't know what it goes to, it goes to something. Okay, this has no engravings, but it has like a weird gold tint to it to where it may be real gold. So you, I may want to test this. The dangle one like it. Um, which dangle one? I'm all throwing everything in here. Um, but I don't... I haven't seen it. If I did throw it in here, I just didn't feel like I wanted it, I guess. Was it a tiny one or a, like a dangle earring? Let me know. So this piece, it's probably not real, but you never know. We'll check it. It's a nice quality little clasp. 
this, do I, is this a, do I have a match to this? Or did I save it? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, look, I said I was gonna chunk that earring and here I found one. Sterling one with the clear stone. What? I don't know. <laughs> Did you really just watch me do it? Throw it in there. A sterling one with a clear stone. Oh no, no! I just had this one. No, are you talking about this one, Casey? I'm pretty sure this is the only. One. Yeah, I think this is the only one I have. <gasps> No, yeah, well, I don't know, because maybe you thought this one. I was like, oh, is it this one? No. And then, yeah, no. <clears throat> Come back to your heating pad. We're almost done, but I'm still not done with you. Sterling one with the clear stone. Yeah, no, I didn't see it. Here's a cute little... Live, live. It's just a live little ring, like a you'd probably put on a necklace. I don't need it. <clears throat> All right, we got lots more little owl earrings. Um, we have a snowflake pendant, but there's no markings. I'm just going to chunk it, even though I should probably save this one. Yeah, no, Casey. Unfortunately, unless I threw it in the bucket. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it. Or I don't think I have it. Yeah, I know. Oh, good. There's my heating pad. No, just the bottom part. You chucked the clear stone. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm all like charming with necklaces over here. Oh gosh, freaking battery light just came on the laptop because we literally killed it that long. Okay. I will definitely go back and check in the bottom of the bucket, Casey. It's a broken bow. Oh my gosh. Did I put this back in here again? Oh, the cross. This thing is so cute. And maybe I'll find it after the video, but I really want this cross earring. I like it a lot. It's going to be so hard to find it in all this red. Apparently, I have a, a bunch of red coral beads that I keep chunking in the junk jewelry when I really should look. So I just found a 925 stamped back earring. Um, oh, here's a matching that American flag earring. I do have that one. I don't really need it though, but yeah, here it is. Ta -da! What are these? Oh, they go to the bracelet. I remember they snap in. That's right. Oh, look, here's another one of those little ringies, and it, this one says laugh. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. This does not go together, does it? Oh my gosh, I love this piece. Yeah, this doesn't go together. But here we have a like a charm piece. And then we have three charms hanging. We have an anchor, a cross, and a heart. But then 
it's not stamped 14 karat or anything. It's a little miniature locket. It literally opens. It's so dainty. And it has a flower on it. And it opens. Oh my God, I love it. It's so freaking cool. Okay, moving on. Trying to pick out all these corals. And then maybe we can see some. Here's another sterling silver earring, isn't it? Looks like one. God, there's so many earrings in here. Look at the tiny owl. Oh my gosh. Look at cute. Sorry. We got some more flowers. Um, I think I threw that earring in there for sure. Okay, so these, I keep seeing these matching, but they're not. Oh, okay, they're Monet. Cool. So here's some Monet earrings matching. We'll all throw those up together. Earrings out of the way. Earrings, little girl earrings like crazy. Like a million of them. Look, here's the little sterling one there. I'm trying to find them a match on that one. Okay, you guys. So let's see what else we got. Look, there's the other owl. Oh my gosh. So cute. My dog won't stop barking. I really need to separate these red corals. Because somebody might want them. Um, but I think that's it, you guys. I'm not seeing anything else. Just all these little girl earrings. Um, there's the metal rose earring. Those are so cute. Oh, I should have put all these little earrings in a little mini bag, man. Yep, okay, sorry. I knew there was one more earring in here that I thought I saw 925. So this earring is stamped 925. It's missing the charm, but it is silver. So we'll keep that one. We have this costume one. I'm gonna chunk it because I didn't find the match, the mate. And that's it. That's all I see. Hope you guys enjoyed the jewelry haul. Um, I definitely feel like the James Avery bracelet is going to reimburse us. Us, I said. <laughs> Me. And then we had one or two other pieces, I think, that were definitely worth, I guess, Digging through all this stuff. I have a good eyesight. <laughs> Thank you. This looks like a sterling silver little clasp. It's not marked, but not much I can really do with it, but I'll put it aside. It's another one of those little beads. There's a lot of backs in here. There's so many to look at. Like there's a million backs in here. So, okay, I'm gonna end the video. That's it. I mean, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing here? Like all this crap, like, like just right here, there's one, two, three, four, five little back earrings right here to look at right there.
<laughs> so it took me forever. So, and then there's just all these little broken little connect uh, center pieces that go around a little bead or something. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the chat box below. Um, I do forget to ask people, and I don't mind when I watch other YouTubers uh, remind the viewers to please hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. I would greatly appreciate it. Happy holidays to everyone. And again, if you want to sign up for the Secret Santa um, I'll announce it this week one more time for the last sign up. So have a great, fabulous sun Sunday. I mean, rest of your weekend. <laughs> Bye.